guys, welcome to Try Tea Tuesday. Cheers to Try Tea Tuesday. I'm trying to use less disposable plastic and use reusable things, so got my reusable Starbucks cup today. Anywho, what do you think about my makeup? I tried to do an everyday version of Kim K's um, Met Gala makeup. Do you think I was close? Let me know, comment below. All right, speaking of comments, I give a shout out of the week every single week. But before we get into that, my name is Nia Sanchez. I'm Miss USA 2014. I was first grown up at Miss Universe and the reason I'm telling you all of that is because this week we are talking about Miss USA 2019. I already did a review video, but there were tons more questions, so I'm answering those here. I always do a shout out of the week on Chai Tea Tuesday, so the shout out of this week goes to Leanne Edme, and it says, hey Nia, I hope you see my comment. I know it's not easy, Easy, but it would be really really nice if you could do a video with Catriona Gray Miss Universe 2018 on what it takes to become and what it takes to be Miss Universe like after crowning not only did Leanne ask that question but tons of other people did too I am going to New York soon I'll try to catch up with Kat even get her like in a little video or something for you guys but she's a busy woman she might not even be there we will see if timing works out so if you would like to be featured in next week's Chai Tea Tuesday please leave a comment below the question of the week I always have a question every week is let me know if you want an encore video and you want more specific Miss USA 2019 questions answered but today y'all I'm spilling the beans for you. These things that I'm gonna share with you are things that are really behind the scenes that you wouldn't really know unless you competed at Miss USA or you were Miss USA. I'm going to answer five, maybe six questions for you today. I tried to pick the most popular questions so that I answer as many people's questions as possible. Let's get right into it. This one I'm actually not going to fully dive into, but I just want to acknowledge it because so many people ask. I will do some more research and talk to you guys about it later, but the conspiracy theory that the eventual winner is always interviewed backstage before the crowning. That actually happened to me for Miss USA. I was interviewed backstage along with two other girls. And then at Miss Universe, I was interviewed with Tegan, my Miss Australia. She made top 10 and I got first runner up. So I don't know exactly, but I'm gonna do some more research and answer that question in depth for you later. Next question is from Wilson. And the general gist of the question is, what do I think about the different cuts, the different patterns, the different options for swimsuit where the girls can wear all different styles? Here's the deal. My personal opinion on it is if the girls are wearing different swimsuits, they should be all one color so it's not distracting. And they should be really flattering styles. Weird side cut one pieces, that's not really flattering on anyone. It's cool, but you want the girls to look as beautiful as possible on stage, so I don't even think that should be an option. Someone else asked kind of within this question, do the girls just get put in a swimsuit or do they get the option to choose? The girls actually get the option to choose. So if a girl is in a swimsuit that's not flattering her body type, I don't know, maybe they were all out of the flattering body type style by the time she got there because often it is the first girl first handful of girls that arrive get the first choices and then whoever arrives later does not get the same choices as the first group of girls. That happened for me in opening number. I had an opening number that I was in love with. When I was competing for Miss USA, someone else put it on and then got it approved by the wardrobe team before I got it approved by the wardrobe team and I was not allowed to wear that dress, which sucked because I thought it looked really good on me. I was like, oh, this is perfect. So same thing happens with swimsuits sometimes. The only thing I can say is sometimes maybe the girls aren't paying super close attention. They might not be aware that that's the swimsuit that they're gonna wear on stage. For example, we got to pick, they told us a fun swimsuit and a finals night swimsuit. So my fun swimsuit I thought was for a photo shoot and I was like, oh cool and it'll be really good not to have any tan lines. It was a strapless one that I wore in my official swimsuit photo at Miss USA. Well, come to find out, you have to wear that in prelims. I had no idea. No one was super specific about that and no one told me before I got there so I begged and pleaded like practically on my knees to get a swimsuit with straps 
for prelims and with all the baking in the world that was approved but sometimes they might say sorry we just don't have any other options so girls if you're competing for Miss USA or any other pageant get there early and pick a flattering shape for your body very important all right this one is from forget Sam and the general idea of the question is what's my opinion on the hate that Miss USA has been getting specifically this year's Miss USA but it's just been getting worse and worse each year Miss USA's have been attacked for one reason or another first of all my opinion is that it's wrong and I think the Miss USA account I would prefer if they would take a little more charge in deleting those comments in blocking people that are consecutively being bullies I know that people can create fake accounts and come back hopefully that might deter some people when I was Miss USA we had reign of the Facebook account the Instagram account so I could log in and I would not block people right away sorry <laughs> ever blocked you before and now you're watching this video I would not block people right away but if someone was perpetually attacking me in a terrible way after two to three times of deleting their comments or even politely messaging them hey this really hurts like please stop if they continue to come at me I would block them so I had the power to block people all day long when I was Miss USA but now it's run by IMG and a whole different team so I just hope that they really as a team get on top of protecting these young women because as Miss USA you see that there's no hiding from your social media and it's everywhere so I would hope that we would be more, a little more protective of our Miss USA's I already spoke on Instagram about the racism that's happening when we crown a black Miss USA or Miss Teen USA and long story short it's absolutely ridiculous and I think as a country and as a people we need to be better just because your girl didn't win does not mean that the Miss USA especially if she has a different ethnicity than the girl you wanted to win is any less deserving even as being Miss USA when I had the crown I got so many comments about you're Mexican you shouldn't be representing our country blah 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 and I was like Pfft. Meh, I ain't got time for that. But still, things do get to you sometimes, especially when you hear it over and over and over again. Okay, next question. I'll answer this one really quick. The question is, what was it like to host Miss Teen USA? From William Dunphy, and I loved hosting Miss Teen USA. It was so much fun. I get styled by my friend Tyson and spray tanned by Bold Sunless Tans. I had hair extensions in, which speaking of those, I have semi-permanent hair extensions in now. Like they're not clip-ins, they're actually in my hair. Look how long it is, I'm obsessed. I just felt like a princess. I was so excited to hang out with the teens during rehearsal. They are such, such sweet girls. I actually got to talk to our new Miss Teen USA, Kaylee, during rehearsals and she was so sweet. So I'm really glad that she won. All of those young women are deserving. They were so accomplished at such a young age when I was reading their bios I was like I was not starting my own charity and going to like Harvard at 18 years old like these girls are phenomenal but I had a great time hosting I hosted with Tim Tialdo and I hope to be back I hope to host the Chi Lounge next year maybe backstage commenting something like that I just love the Miss Universe organization and what they represent inspiring women so hey Hopefully some more fun hosting opportunities with them specifically will work out. I'm gonna answer this one because it's pretty controversial and I'm gonna end the video on this. This one is from Matthew Zada, Zeta, don't know how to say it. So sometimes I get nervous to give my fully 100% authentic opinion to you guys, but I never hold back. I either don't address the question at all if I don't feel like talking about it or I give you my full 100% truth on how I feel or my opinions on these subjects. So this one, yeah gonna be interesting are you ready the question is do you think that they pick a Miss USA like other countries pick their country title holders to win Miss Universe or is that not really a factor for Miss USA I'm really nervous if like people watch this and get mad at me but hopefully not I don't think they pick Miss USA to win Miss Universe if she has the chance to win Miss Universe great I don't think that's the Miss Universe's intent Miss Universe organization's intention on the positive side of it all they really want is a beautiful well-spoken young woman that can communicate beautifully the message of the organization and who they work with they work with smile train they used to work with breast and ovarian cancer awareness uh, so many different things they want a woman that's going to represent their country well the organization well and be able to speak well and be really easy on the go because you just never know like being Miss USA is something where you have to be ready 24 7 they could call you at 2 a.m. be like hey we got something let's go you just never know in my opinion is that they don't necessarily need Miss USA to win Miss Universe if you think about it from a financial point of view when another country wins that country gets really excited and they want to pay to bring the girl back pay to have her be the face of many campaigns so 
girls here in the US, like, it's just not that exciting. Like, we have Brad Pitt and we have Jamie Foxx and we have Angelina Jolie. Like, we have all these huge celebrities. So, Miss USA isn't as exciting to Americans as Miss Philippines is to the Filipinos or Venezuela to the Venezuelans or, or even other countries like France, all of that. Other countries get way more excited, I think, than we do in a financial sense here in the US. I don't think that it's number one priority for the organization like, oh my gosh, we have to have a girl that could win Miss Universe. They honestly live a very similar lifestyle. Miss USA just travels the US and Miss Universe travels the world, but they live in the same apartment in New York. They go to a lot of the same appearances together. So I don't think USA winning Universe is a number one priority for the organization, but that also makes sense, kind of because everything I said. I hope I said it nicely while still fully expressing the way that I think about it. I could be wrong, but that's just my opinion and what makes sense to me. Yeah. I think I said it okay. Anywho, so there's tons more questions, guys. I wish I could answer all of them, but I don't want to make this video so long. And I have another coaching session coming up pretty soon, so I have to head to that. Let me know if you have any more specific pageant questions and you want an encore of Miss USA 2019 specific questions answered and secrets revealed. I can do that next Chai Tea Tuesday, and then I'm going to start wrapping it up for you guys if that's what you want. If you want that, leave those questions below. Also, I do do pageant coaching. Hello. I didn't really talk about this in detail in in the last video that I did, I coach girls that compete in pageants, all systems, not only Miss USA, Miss America, Miss World, Miss International, NAM, IJM, UNM, all the, all the things. I love it. It's one of the things I'm so passionate about. I have had five years of experience competing, now five years of experience coaching. Last year, I coached Carolina, who got second runner-up at Miss USA, and this year, I coached Allie, who got first runner-up at Miss USA. So I am happy to help you guys on your pageant journey, and even your self-growth journey. There's so much more than just getting that crown. It's a whole journey in itself. So if you're interested in coaching, let me know. You can email me here. Thanks for tuning in to Chai Tea Tuesday. I'm personally trying to do a little less plastic in the trash. So try to do something good for our earth and reuse and recycle. Totally random, nothing to do with pageants or Chai Tea, but I just have to say it. All right guys, thanks for tuning in. Cheers to Chai Tea Tuesday.